Hey there, parents. With summer right around the corner, you're probably wondering, how do I help to keep my child practicing enough without turning this summer break into a battlefield? Well, here's some good news for you. You're not alone. Whether your child struggled, stayed on track, or worked hard to stay ahead this year, summer can either build on that progress or slowly chip it away. Now maybe you've tried working with your child at home only for it to end in frustration or tears. Or maybe you've tried looking into hiring a tutor or even actually hired one and you realize pretty quickly that this is a little more than your budget can swing. Or maybe you just couldn't find the right tutor to work with your child. Or maybe, like most parents, math wasn't your strength and it's tough watching your child repeat that same struggle. Let me tell you this, your concerns are real. Your feelings are valid. And none of this means that you're failing as a parent. So here's what I want for you to take away from this video. Summer Break offers a special window, an amazing opportunity. And that's because this summer break gives your child the chance to practice just a little bit each day and then come back to school even stronger than before. And you know what? It doesn't need to take hours. It's just 15 to 30 minutes a day of focused, consistent practice, and it can change everything for your child. To be completely transparent, I get it because I was that kid. I moved around a lot when I was in elementary school and I had tons of learning gaps everywhere. I mean, math, it felt like a puzzle that just didn't make sense. But then in fourth grade, I had a teacher who changed everything. She taught me in a way that clicked. I was able to focus in class, I was able to practice at home, and finally, I started to believe, hey, I've got this. Fast forward to today, and I've spent over 15 years helping students feel that same way about math. So as a former Florida public school teacher, here are the fifth grade math skills that I recommend that you have your child practice this summer. First of all, practice multiplication of whole numbers. These are problems like what's 347 times 16? Or can you solve 1,245 times 23? Even though your child has probably learned how to multiply using the area model or partial product strategy last year in fourth grade, I would recommend practicing using the standard algorithm. After they've practiced multiplication, move on to division of whole numbers, which include problems like what's 2,106 divided by 42. Try to focus on long division and ask them to explain their steps out loud. The next skill I would suggest practicing is with the order of operations. In fifth grade, students will be given expressions where there's a bunch of numbers and values and different operations and parentheses, and it's important that we teach them how to solve problems like this. This is using a strategy like PEMDAS with solving parentheses first and then exponents, multiplying and dividing, going from left to right, and then adding and subtracting, going from left to right. All right, so you've practiced multiplication, division, and order of operations. The next thing that I would suggest practicing would be place value with decimals to the thousandths place. This means being able to understand the value and place of each digit, how to read numbers carefully, and what happens when a digit goes forwards in the place value chart or backwards. The next skill you could practice would be adding and subtracting decimal numbers. For instance, what's four and three tenths plus two and 17 hundredths? Make sure that they line up the decimals and understand those regrouping strategies. If they practice all that and understood, you can move on to the last skill that I recommend, which is practicing with coordinate planes and inputs and outputs. For instance, being able to plot the point for three or knowing where the origin is, which is zero, zero, or even practicing with inputs and outputs and understanding that if the rule is that y equals x plus two, what's the output when x equals five? Can you believe they're moving on to skills like this? It's all about recognizing patterns and having some fun with graphing. So work on those skills in that order. Don't worry about getting it all done. It is summer, it's supposed to be flexible and give them the space and the time that they need to work on these skills. You could do that by focusing on one concept per week. Try to keep it fun, keep it visual and keep it hands on. Now you might be thinking, okay, this sounds great, Ms. McCarthy. Thank you so much for this information, but how exactly do I go about teaching all of this without losing my mind? 
I've got you. What if I told you that I've created a fun and engaging self-paced math course for rising fifth graders, specifically in Florida, and that all you have to do is enroll your child and ensure that they show up consistently? Yeah. I did that for you. I created Step Up to Fifth Grade Math, the at-home summer math course, and when you enroll, here's what you get. A full six-week self-paced summer course that you can crunch down into three weeks if you want or expand to 10 weeks. You'll get 24 engaging video lessons with me, Miss McCarthy, and I love to bring the energy, make math make sense by incorporating music and movement. You'll get tons of printable student guides and extra practice pages. And I'm all about starting each lesson to make sure that our minds are in the right place. There's also a fun weekly mini quiz for your students to see if they've mastered the skills. This course comes with lifetime access, so you can reuse it anytime, even during the upcoming school year. And to make this a no-brainer, I wanted to make sure that I incorporated weekly Zoom check-ins where you and your child can ask questions and get the help that you need. Now, I have to be honest about something. I love tutoring. I believe in tutoring. There is so much power in hiring a tutor. In fact, I have personally tutored so many students. I've seen so many kids go from feeling nervous and squirmy about math to becoming confident mathematicians as a result of tutoring. It's amazing. But here's the thing. If you hired a tutor to teach all of the content included in this course, it would easily cost you over $1,000. If you can afford that and you know a great person for the job, by all means, do it. I'm serious. Get that tutor. Make it happen. Tutoring is amazing. But I wanted to create a course that was affordable, simple, and made for busy families on the go and on a budget. With this self-paced course, all your child has to do is log in, press play, and practice. There's no stress for either one of you, no tears, no driving around, no endless internet searches on your part trying to find an activity that is going to help them this summer. So let me ask you, are you ready to seize the opportunity that this summer break holds? Are you ready to use this window of time to build your child's math skills and boost their confidence? How amazing would it feel to show your child that these small doses of consistent practice can change their math situation in the coming school year? Your child thinking, I'm bad at math, can be a thing of the past. So don't waste any more time. Let's do this. Together, you and I, we can help your child to build their confidence, gain the math skills that they need, and actually enjoy learning this summer. And parents, you're doing a great job just by exploring an option like this. And kids, if you're watching, I cannot wait to see you inside the course.